Hello Geminis, hello, hello, hello and welcome to the Gifted Hermit. I hope you guys are well. If you are new to the channel and you would like to, let me know where you reside in the world. I'm in London, UK, always intrigued to know where my viewers are from. I'm going to do a love reading. It picks up on someone from your heart, okay? It doesn't have to be someone that you're physically with now. Two energies, three questions, how you view each other what you want from each other and where you believe it's going. Please remember, Gemini, that this is a general reading. Not every section is going to resonate with you. If you find that it hits you bang on the head, <laughs> as the cards fell there, please remember to smash the like button, okay? Let's get into this reading, okay? So first energy, how they are being viewed. Hmm, seven of wands. Perhaps, you know, someone's being viewed here as highly protective, protective of their energy, um perhaps very stubborn someone's being viewed here as okay i'm not here to judge i'm just here to chat and be intuitive gems so i feel like someone is definitely viewing somebody here as perhaps highly protective of their energy as you see there her with the crystal ball surrounding her as well as um stubborn you know or the need to stand their ground and believe for you know stand up for their beliefs their values maybe family has a big factor to do with this connection okay or this reading so someone's being viewed here as definitely again highly protective um you know got their little aura in their protective bubble and perhaps keeping to themselves standing their ground or stubborn right now gemini let's go on to the wanting who wants what do they want gemini or the person right beautiful energy Ten of Cups, everybody wants that, that beautiful connection, something that you can trust in, right? Something that you can believe in and have faith in. Emotional security, emotional happiness, not wanting to bicker, not wanting to fight, not wanting, excuse me, to anything. Ultimate happiness here is the wanting. Where do they believe us going? Where do they believe it's going? Queen of Pentacles wanted to come out there, you know. So this is, a, you know, loyalty settling down, you know, and that type of stuff, you know. Someone with the Nine of Swords, clarify this, please, you know. This looks uh, grim, you know. Someone believes that there's going to be betrayal here or feeling sadness and they're going to have to do something alone in order to get their happiness, perhaps, you know. Someone definitely feels uh, very sad here, I feel, you know, with um, this Nine of Swords energy, really thinking about the negatives of it, maybe believing that they're going to have to do something alone or, or go something alone. Queen Pentacles went to jump out, jump out again. Gemini, some of you are dealing with an Earth sign, right? Maybe an Earth lady for some of you. All right, I feel like some of you are going through it right now. Let's go to the next energy and how their person is being viewed. How is their person being viewed? All these cards, Gemini. Next energy, please, guys. How this person's being viewed? Where they believe this going? What do they want? All of that good stuff. Right, how they're being viewed. Cards are going a bit crazy. I reckon things are a bit crazy right now. Two of Pentacles. Maybe someone is completely busy, frantic, busy, undec undecided. You know, undecided, not knowing where they stand. Someone believes, uh, someone's viewing somebody here is definitely a bit all over the place. You know, I don't know where I stand with you. I feel a lot of uh, guarded energy here, Gemini's, all right? I'm picking up on that. I really am. That's, I think, you know, a lot of Gemini's are viewing this as their person. You know, I don't know where I stand with you. What do they want? Gemini love reading. What do they want? What do they want, please, guys? Mm, a new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. A fresh start, you know? Um, and, and, and pretending like there's not a problem. You know, if they if they pretend like there's not a problem, then all will be well. Clarify this to a source for me. So I believe someone definitely wants a new beginning here, you know, whether it's to get together or alone, you know. They want a fresh start here. They want to give gifts. You know, we've got Valentine's coming up. So flower someone with gifts, all right? And I also believe that, you know, as long as they try their best to mask up anything or maybe what they think, how they think, 
then all will be well. They'll get past this. That's the energy I'm feeling here. Some of you, um, well, I think I should put it out there. Some of you perhaps are going to be dealing with someone from the past as well, right? So a mixture. I definitely feel like a lot of uh, gems perhaps may be going through stuff right now. But generally speaking, you or both energies are wanting a fresh start here to try again. Maybe to try and get things back to how they were before, you know. Some of you might be dealing with karmic situations right now. What do I mean about karmic? Oh, you know, you got with someone and they wasn't quite finished with somebody else or... Um, you know, there was third party situations and karmic stuff, you know, what you get back in this relationship is what you gave in the last relationship. And it's that, that circle of life, right? The full story, just like tarot. All right, let's get some angel cards, please, for Gemini. Please, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What does the Geminis need to know, angels, before we go? All right. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm doing a Valentine's competition for single people only. All you've got to do is follow me on Instagram, like the competition post, and you are entered. You win Supper on the Gifted Hermit. How cute am I? <laughs> totally free, of course. Up to the value of $3. <laughs> right, angels, what do Geminis need to know? Gemini, I know you guys are going through something right now. I can feel it, you know. Gemini, Sun, Rising and Venus. We had a lot there. Release the end of a phase or a situation. Spiritual transformation. Time to move on, you know. As one door closes, another door opens. The end of something here, you know. It always brings new chapters. Spiritual transformation, you know. Something in you, you know. It could be a loved one passing. It could be just peace, wanting peace now, releasing from the drama. Ten of Cups, beautiful, a contented and rewarding family life. Your emotional and material needs are met, trustworthy relationships. It's important to trust in your intuition, in your family. Is it family is very important right now. This is emotional abundance, okay? And trustworthy relationships a full sense of entrapment <laughs> while wow, the dynamics some of you might be dealing with a capricorn being overly focused on material things negative or fear-based thoughts okay so only you would know if you're in some sort of connection or feeling a self a set a sense of entrapment right like you have no control over a situation you really do we all do in life, all right? Um, I hope you enjoyed that reading. You know, Ten of Cups looks very beautiful. The the future energy looks promising, okay, from angels, all right? And, and release yourself from any fears, anything that holds you back. You do not need it. You no longer need it. We've got the new moon tomorrow, all right? Embrace that. Love, peace, and light, Geminis. I enjoyed this reading. Please join us, give me a thumbs up, and show some love. Catch you on the rebound. Mwah.